Okay. Hi, everybody. It's time we have a conversation about Tyler Henry. So, where to start? Let's just try to keep this short. I've been following Tyler Henry since he started. 2016, January. Now, he'd been around a little bit before that, but not much before that. And Tyler was in the right place at the right time. Okay, let's get right off the bat. He is not psychic. He is not communicating with the dead. He is a creation of um, Hollywood, much like a boy band, where they say, gosh, there's a lot of money in this psychic business. Look at what Teresa Caputo had done. Uh, look at John Edward and so on. There's a lot of money out there. But what they need is they need somebody with a fresh face that has no baggage not like sylvia brown who who just had blunder after blunder not like Tom, um john edward who had been called out by south park for being the biggest douche in the universe not anybody like uh maureen hancock who had been claiming that she could see people who had died and was telling the police and their family where to find their bodies and what happened to them and all that nonsense, none of that stuff. They they needed somebody with no history whatsoever. And they went looking for somebody and they found this guy, Tyler Henry. And his last name is K-O-E-L-E-W-Y-N. They knew the audiences out there wouldn't know how to spell it, pronounce it, nothing. So what they did is they dropped his last name and his name is Tyler Henry now, his first and middle name. That's exactly what John Edward did. John Edward's real name is John Edward McGee. So this is what they did. They created this guy. They put him through. I mean, he was working at a psychic shop, but he was just some guy. He had just, just some small town in kind of near Fresno in California. They found, uh, probably did a nice background check on him and found out that he had no history. He's got a great smile. He's got a very calming personality. He's good at following instructions. He loves his mother. He doesn't drive. He had no, I don't think any tang entanglements relationship wise with anybody. His mother drives him around to all his um, gigs. Um, he wanted to be a hospice nurse. He was going to work, he wanted to work with people who had uh, parents whose children had committed suicide. This is what he said in the Out magazine. I'm going to show you right now. And, well, Today Show, I'm sorry. And he had it. They, they created this guy. You know, I can imagine the call. Hey, you got the job where we want you to come in and, um, be our next star. Um, he is, he was 20 years old, just the guy next door. And this is what Mark Edward has been talking about for the last few years is that, that the psychic business needed to have new kind of a new way of a new kind of psychic. And he called them the fuzzy sweater psychics. And that's the uh, Rosemary Altea, Teresa Caputo, uh, Maureen Hancock, the kind of person that you would, you know, let watch your house while you were out of town and bag your groceries and, um, you know, walk your dog, just that nice kid that's next door. Those, that nice person. Oh man, they never lie to you. Oh no. <laughs> Tyler Henry is probably making 10 million a year now. So what E-Network did well, whoever's handlers are eventually became e network and it's e with a giant exclamation point that's what they that's their e network so what they did is they hooked him up with a whole bunch of c list celebrities and um and these are all of their bet bread and butter of the of the e network world and these are people who were famous, mega famous in their time, but now who's heard of them, you know? So they're they're happy to get their moment in fame. They're happy to get back on TV. They're happy to have somebody approach them. And um, Tyler Henry's willing to, to do this. So I'm going to read, put my glasses back on here. I'm going to read 
something I had written for Skeptical Inquirer back in the day when I was, I was investigating him for the beginning, because I got him at the very beginning because he was just new. I wanted to see what was going on. I say that he was working in a shop in Hanford, California in 2012. They picked him up. He was a new psychic they were trying to find to make a reality show around. And they selected him. Uh, his first season aired in January 2016. And they started the media hype. And not kidding, they sure did. He was shown speaking to all the e-celebrities in the who's hot, who's hip, who's it articles, you know, those kind of fluff articles. He got celebrity endorsements from Dr. Phil, who's never seen a psychic he didn't believe. And he joined up with the Kardashians. Great scientists, great minds there. And all these people who are like in that world of, why are you famous? <laughs> you just, you got a right agent, right? Okay. He um, had gotten other people who were who were headed he was able to give readings to and that that was just fascinating just watching this media hype that just kind of just kept making this guy bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger really really interesting this is the first article i can remember seeing of him this is from out magazine and it's called Tyler Henry opens up about his psychic abilities and it's from out magazine and it's from 2015, December 22nd, 2015. And here he is with boy, George, I'm sure you remember boy George. So boy, George is happy to get his himself back on there. They're in beautiful homes. Um, Tyler's gig is that he doesn't know any of these people. I think it's probably very likely he doesn't know who Boy George is because Boy George stardom really fell, I think, in the 90s. And so Tyler is probably only, well, he's only 20 at this time. So he, he wouldn't have really known who Boy George was. So it's very likely he doesn't know who these people are. Here it is. He'll join the Kardashian clan, Caitlyn Jenner, Christiana, Milan, I don't know who that is, obviously. Uh, Amber Rose, Monica Potter, Mimi Leakes, Margaret Cho, she's a comedian, I know who she is. Michael Spam, Sam, Bella Torn, Boy George Snooky, Ross Matthews, I didn't know who any of these people were. And so I'm out of the loop too. So it says he's grown up in a small town in Central California. He's absolutely unknown. Well, yeah. And... <laughs> So he says the entire experience has been really intense. It's been incredible moving to LA as a medium, but also as a person, very intense. Okay, so he's self-made by Hollywood for the sole purpose of being a psychic star. That is who he is. I've been watching his readings for, for quite a long time now. And he's got a unique style because he's not really trained um, he has developed this thing where he, he does scratching on the paper. That's just a gimmick. There's nothing there. I don't think there's anything written on the edges of the, of the paper at all. Um, one person I saw a video that's really interesting. I hadn't even thought of this before. And he said that he was watching um, a Tyler Henry episode. And he can see Tyler Henry writing at the top working his way down and then seconds later the page is full and he's scratching at the bottom of the page which shows that there was a huge cut in the clip and that was brilliant dude brilliant that is the kind of observations we should be doing more of because that shows that there is a um, missing amount of information and if there was good information to be found it would be on the show so if there's a big gap, that's because it was all miss. Also, I want you guys to understand, he is not walking up to a house that has, you know, and he's going to walk in, knock on the door, doesn't know who the person is, goes, sits down, and within a few minutes, he's doing the reading. That's not what's happening at all. These people sign... Um, they're first they're scoped out their houses looked at you know it's 
beautiful, immaculate, wherever he's going to. And um, they they go in, they, they've signed forms, the actor or actress or singer or whatever it is he's going to be giving a reading to has not had a lot of media attention in a long time. So this is a huge deal to them. They want to be um, back um, and talked about again. They want to be not only given the largest segment in the show, but they also want to have uh, be the commercial. They want to be the, the person that is getting the blurb, you know, the, the trailer and all that. So they're going to exaggerate. They're going to overdo it because they're actors, right? Or they're, they're, they like being stars. They like that attention. So this idea that there's some kind of test going on. There's no test. These people who are being read know dang well what's going on and they want the best um, to reflect themselves the best possible. So possibly he is um, getting genuine emotions from these people. But let me tell you, if, if, if Tyler Henry is doing a reading with some celebrity who's who's not going along with it and not playing along with, with the whole gig, then they're going to be dropped or they're going to be cut or they're going to get just a tiny little bit, or they're going to re-edit it and move it around and change it and make it so that they kind of say, oh, ooh, wow, when it really wasn't a big wow. They just, it's editing. The magic happens in the edit room, right? That's the real magician. So Tyler Henry's, that whole place has been scoped out first. So here comes Tyler Henry. There are cameras watching him walk up, right? So there are cameras outside. There are cameras from inside watching Tyler open the door. There is a camera crew that has probably been there for hours, setting up, getting the lighting right, making sure, you know, making it look beautiful, moving items around, changing the lighting, get, you know, testing for the best place for the reading to be. This is all planned, very well planned. So when Tyler Henry walks in that door and he says, I don't know who that person is, Maybe he, legitimately, maybe he legitimately does not know who that person is. That is possible. But he's got a phone. He excuses himself, goes into the bathroom, does a quick Google, looks at their Wikipedia page, and all he's got to do is come out with just a little bit, right? It's, it's not like he's going into great depth with these people. He's, got, he's only got to find a few things. This is what mediums do who hot read. So if you are living in a fantasy world, I'm sorry to break this to you, but this is all stage. It's reality TV, which means it is not reality. Sorry. He is, when he gets in front of the, 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 the recording part where he's doing the interview and he's giving him the reading, that could have been two hours after he's walked in the door. It is not within seconds. There's still mic checks and lighting checks and all kinds of stuff happening. Then they record for an hour, two hours or more. And then they cut it down to the best, maybe 10 minutes. That's what's going on. They add that inspiring music. The, the angels on heaven are singing, oh. That's all added to elicit emotions from you as the viewer. It's it's all a show. These people are surrounded by cameras, uh, people with the, with the booms over their head. That's the sound. Um, there are multiple things happening there, making sure their hair is just perfect, you know, making sure that the lighting on the person is hitting just right. All that is just planned. So. I'm going to end up going through and breaking down a bunch of Tyler Henry's videos. I've already done it in a lot of the articles. It's it's hard to believe that we have to do this, but I don't think anybody else is doing this kind of just detailed breakdowns. This video that you're watching right now, I hope to be a, a primer, something that you can watch and understand that what's going on is a show that Tyler Henry is a created, he's a created um, character that they have made up out of whole cloth 
they took this young man and made him into this mega star put him through this oh i don't know this this like you know you're going to be a you're going to be a king so we have to teach you everything that you should know the idea that he no longer knows who all these hollywood people are is a bunch of bs so if you hear him say i don't know who these people are i don't watch tv that's c r a p he goes to shows he goes to he gets um he he gets a celebrity treatment wherever he goes you can look at some of these other kinds of um media and he's he's there you know there's there's people coming up and shaking their hands and he's interacting with them at parties it's just it's over that right we should be over this he doesn't know who these people are because he's not a part of hollywood he is hollywood at this point he is a mega star i i'm not kidding he's making millions of dollars a year so this idea that you're going to try to get a reading with tyler why seriously people at this point this is 2023. If you still believe that it's possible to communicate with the dead, you know, I, I'm all for let's not let's not belittle the uh the sitters, the victims out there. That's you guys out there who would be believing this. It's not your fault. This is all marketed to you. But at a certain point, the tricks of mediumship have been known for generations before Houdini who exposed these people for doing this. It's just a new technology they're using to be able to do this. This isn't new completely. At a certain point, it becomes willful ignorance on your part if you're not looking this stuff up and you believe it. Yes, you grew up in a culture probably that believes in life after death and the idea that maybe somebody is communicating with the dead is plausible. Um, a lot of people who, who get into these grief vampires and, and get these readings, you are vulnerable. You are experiencing grief, loneliness, all desperation, just, just some deep, horrible things happening to you right now. And at a time that you probably would have had really sharp critical thinking skills, somehow or other, one of these people crosses your path. And that's the next thing you know. You're in it, hook, line, and sinker, and they've got their claws into you. This is this is a crime against women, because that's almost entirely what it is, is the victims of these people. And it's not the Tyler Henry so much. The problem is with these networks. These they're out for the money and they're they're trying to just get another dollar out of you. Squeeze another dollar out of this poor person who's watching this thing. Eyeballs. There's just so much money in this. And Tyler Henry and the people that come underneath him, I can't get a reading with Tyler Henry, so you go to the one lower on the ring and you go to the one lower on the ring. And there's always somebody out there who's willing to tell you that all is good in the other world. Your 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 loved one is looking down on you. They're at peace. Everything will be fine. Just give me another reading and you know buy my book. So educate yourself. It's a scam. Now let's get to the an analyzing of some of these videos and I'll show you.